So. So this is how you need to set the image layers in the Photoshop. Press accordingly and make individual PNG of particular layers. Let me show you how. Select a layer, then go to files. Now set for web. Select PNG 24. Set the resolution to 800 by 800 and it will, as it is linked, so it will increase or decrease as any of the variable changes. Now save in the same folder for better acquisition. So this is how we did it. Now let's walk you through how you can create the product. This is the product. So at first select the no color set. Now click on advanced settings. Now we need to give the parts individual name. So let's change the name. Is as we have total of seven layers. So I'll just create the seven layers first. Now we need to set individual groups for each of the seven layers for the base layer as you don't want your customer to choose or change the color so we'll simply leave it as no color. Now we'll upload the image. This is the base. Now let's move to the layer one. Now from here we'll create new groups for each of these layers. Click on plus. Now we'll define particular color set for this layer. Let's say if you want your customers to choose any color from a color palette, simply choose full or all colors. And if you want to create particular color set for your customers, you can simply click here. Now let's upload the image for this layer one. Let's move on to the set layer two. Again, we'll create another new group for layer two. Now upload the image to layer 3. I'll basically do the same. So This is the border layer, so we will disable coloring. So now save the product, activate. Let's go to the designer view. So this is the product. You can see a grainy background. It happened because the base layer you have provided might have created using Coral Draw, and there is a drawback of Coral Draw is it can't actually make 100% backgroundless PNGs. There might have also another issue, which is you provided the images that had resolution of over 5,000 and 5,000 pixel matrix, so it will obviously create an issue for the background. So it is better to have output 500 into 500. So let me show you how you can do it in Photoshop. You just simply place all of the layers accordingly. Select all the layers. Go to image. Then image size. Type 500. And save. Now simply zoom. And it will work fine. So the base layer I have used here. I copied your provided images. So it created this grainy background. Now let me show you the effects of changing colors.
So this is it. This is how you create a configurable product with different layer settings. And make sure you use the 500 into 500 pixel matrix so the image does not create any kind of texture in the background. And make sure you also put each layer accordingly and resize them to fit with each other. Thank you for your patience. Hope it works for you.